Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Scott Ginger here and today I'm going to be showing you Nvidia Reflex and Reflex with Boost in Rainbow Six Siege. If you've played titles like Valorant or Call of Duty, you probably already know what Nvidia Reflex is, but if you don't, what it does is it decreases input delay by prioritizing processes in your hardware. It does drop some frames, but feels absolutely great in gameplay. It is exclusive to PC and specifically only those who are using the Nvidia graphics card. So if you're on console, sorry, PC Master Race. I'm going to be showing you how to enable it in the current build of the test server, and I'm also going to be running some benchmarks to see how it affects your gameplay. Now, before further ado, let's get into it. Currently, NVIDIA Reflex is only available in the test server, patch year 6, season 1, and starting today, February the 24th. To run NVIDIA Reflex, make sure you have the latest NVIDIA GeForce Experience Game Ready Driver, and that you launch the game from Steam. It is very important you launch it through Steam because in Uplay, you do not get the Vulkan option. Nvidia Reflex does not show up if you're using DirectX, so please make sure you run it in Steam and that you choose the Vulkan option that pops up. Now that you're in game, go to Settings, click on Display, and below VSync, right above Widescreen Letterbox, you'll see the new option, Nvidia Reflex and Nvidia Reflex Plus Boost. Just switch it on and you're ready to go. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the equipment to measure the difference NVIDIA Reflex makes on input lag, but I can tell you with 100% certainty it makes a difference. If you want my opinion, it is a huge difference, and I can't wait for it to hit the live build. Keep in mind, everything in the TTS may get postponed or even removed completely before ever hitting the live build. I'm going to be running the benchmark multiple times with the NVIDIA Reflex off, on, and also with the boost option, which I will now put up on the screen for you to see. Pause the video if you want to look at the specifics. Keep in mind, I played for a few hours before running benchmarks to make sure my hardware was at its normal temperatures. As you can see, my test had nearly zero impact on NVIDIA Reflex. I'm not sure if the benchmark actually runs with the Reflex on. Run it yourself and let me know in the comments what you get. This just released, so I'm guessing it hasn't been implemented into the benchmark just yet. Thank you all so much for watching. Drop a like if this video helped you and tell me in the comments. Are you looking forward to NVIDIA Reflex and Siege? Or are you a console player that's completely unaffected by these changes? Subscribe if you want more videos like this or you just enjoy Siege gameplay. And I hope you have a fantastic week.